Well, good evening, folks. Welcome to RTC TV for tonight's broadcast. We have the Pioneer Panthers against the Lewis Cass Kings. Cass Kings coming in with a 4-6 and six record under the coach Josh Burkett. Pioneer coming in with the identical record of 4-6 and six under the coach of Austin Cowley. Both teams matched up earlier this season in the Cass County Tournament, and Pioneer got the best of the Cass Kings up there. Pioneer came out red hot shooting 12 of 19 three-pointers and took care of business 88 to 53. We'll take a break, come back here, and talk more about the game and get this game underway here at Pioneer High School. Thanks for watching RTC TV4. Community. Community State Bank has maintained a tradition of service since opening our doors in May of 1930. For the past 88 years, we have been committed to building personal relationships in all of the communities we serve. Offering both personal and business accounts, Community State Bank is your local friend and neighbor. Stop by any of our local offices to set up your accounts today. Online at csbnetbank.com. This broadcast is brought to you in part by these local sponsors. The Jim Kitchell Agency would like to wish the Pioneer Panthers best of luck in tonight's contest. Count on Kitchell for all of your farm, home, auto, commercial, or life insurance needs. Available by phone or online at kitchellagency.com. Stay connected with the fastest internet speeds available with RTC Fiber Communications. Voice, data, and video connectivity for the 21st century. Local service, local support, local investment. Online at rtc1.com. Please support the local businesses that help us bring you this production. Welcome back here at the cage at Pioneer High School, Royal Center, Indiana. Tonight we've got the Pioneer Panthers versus the Lewis Cass Kings. On the call with me tonight, my brother Tim Hines. Tim, how you doing? Well, not too bad actually, John. I uh, had an opportunity earlier this evening to give a few cats a new home. <laughs> and I kept uh, corralled. i got to watch my words here. Corralled. If trying to corral them and uh, well, I got one and opened the thing up and she got away because <laughs> I had to have two I had to have at least two of those cats out of there so uh, <laughs> I ended up getting one later uh, my human nature about got the best of me I thought I didn't think I was going to get any of them uh, I should have just gave up because I had the mama but anyhow I got one and uh, Needless to say, as I head this way towards Mom's house, uh, there's a cat with a new home tonight. So I'm feeling good about myself. <laughs> uh, you're not going to get that anywhere else, folks. Absolutely I mean, not. Uh, talking about cats, but we're here to talk basketball tonight, Tim. And we've got uh -oh. the cast. <laughs> we got the cast kings coming in four and six, and they're led by a pure scorer in Easton Good. I mean, he does everything for the Kings, and he will definitely be their high score tonight more than likely. Pioneer comes in with a little more balance on their roster with uh, Matt, uh, Logan Nussbaum, a 19 per game score. Callahan Kinley right there at 13. Gage Kripe just under 10 points. And Damon McGuire as well along with Jacob Brown. They're all right there around the 9, 10 point mark scoring wise. Pioneer likes to run. If you've seen them play, you know they like to run and chuck up the three-pointer, and that's what they are known for. So, John, tell me a little bit about this uh, leading score. What kind of numbers has he been throwing up lately? Well, Nussbaum, uh, Tuesday night against Eastern, he only had nine for Pioneer. They, um, he, he didn't shoot the ball very well from beyond the arc, and that's his main thing. But uh, the Panthers were able to make a good comeback against Eastern. Couldn't take care of business, though. So, they... Uh, they got beat over there on Tuesday night. They've been pretty, pretty, uh, pretty consistent winning ball games. So, so Tim, why don't you tell us more about the Cass Kings? Well, John, uh, one thing's apparent with these guys is they're not a lot of size. 
Um, so they're kind of a perimeter perimeter team, and uh, you know how that goes. It can win or lose a game real quick. Um, you got to go to break here, John. Yeah, we're going to have the national anthem. At this time, would everyone please stand? And gentlemen, remove your hats for the playing of our national anthem. National anthem there. Get ready for the starting lineups here at Pioneer. Public address announcer Martin Llewellyn down there making the call tonight. Well, Tim John, like, like, well, John, a big, uh, <laughs> big band of weather coming our way. Sounds like it might get exciting. <laughs> Hopefully not until later tonight when everybody's home safe. Yeah, I think so. First for the visiting team. Get the starting lineup for the visitors here. Here, number one, David Bullimer. Well, the non-starters. Number three. Number three starter, Easton Good. So Easton Good will get the start tonight. He's their leading scorer. Blaine Rudd, the sophomore, six foot, number 22. Number 12, Isaac Chambers. Isaac Chambers getting the start, 6'1". He plays the point guard for the Kings. Garrett McClelland, a junior, 5'10", number 14. And Tyler Johnson, number 25. Tim, like you said, they are not very big, but they match up very well with Pioneer. Yeah, that's right. Pioneer, not a lot of size. Uh, yeah. Perimeter team, definitely. Uh, should be fun to watch. Well, this, Tim, I mean, I know you haven't been to any of the boys' games, but uh, this is what they do for all the girls' games. They turn on the lights, put the spotlight on. Logan Nussbaum getting the start for Pioneer, the junior leading scorer. Damon McGuire, a cat quick, five foot eight senior. Callahan Kinley, number 13, second leading scorer on the team. Gage Kripe, another junior, number 30. And Dustin Sparks in the middle. The six foot three senior coached by Austin Cowley. So, Tim, we're about ready to get this bad boy started here at Pioneer High School. They call it the cage now. Oh, the cage. We didn't have a nickname for it, did we? No. <laughs> we didn't have spotlights either. <laughs> we didn't deserve spotlights back then. <laughs> No, no, you remember the lights and shut them off. It took 20 minutes oh, to turn yeah, them back yeah, on. Yeah. So uh, you sure didn't have <laughs> we'd be in trouble. We had to get the squirrels going. <laughs> so that ball's tipped out, and it's going to be, well. Nobody knows. Taco says it'll be Pioneer's ball. So the Panthers are getting it to get things going here. Kenley looking to inbounds from the sideline. Gets it to McGuire, cutting right to the hole. A little lob pass over the top to nice Dustin touch. Sparks. Nice touch by Sparks. And he puts it in. And Pioneer with that press. And you know Pioneer is going to come out with that, definitely. 
because Isaac Chambers is their best ball handler. Easton Good trying to make something happen. He's still handling. McClellan with it. Back over to Good on the wing. Top I'm of gonna the key. argue with you about that best ball handler. <laughs> He's probably the best decision maker. <laughs> we might have a better ball handler. But uh, Chambers kid has got a good head on his shoulders. Nice back cut there. Pioneer does a good job getting her hands in the passing lane. So yeah, Chambers is the uh, quarterback for Pot for uh, Lewis Cass as well. And he had a really good year this year. Yeah, such a, this team in general, I mean, you look at these kids, uh, a young team. And so you hope, you hope that uh, you can take this team and and work with them a year, uh, a lot of them two years, and, and come up with a, a well-honed team all around. Nussbaum for three! Couldn't get it to go. Rebounded by Sparks out to Kinley. Well, Cass McGuire, has three guys spin underneath. move back into Sparks. Sparks gets hammered by Good. Cass had three guys underneath, and Pioneer's one guy came up with a rebound on that miss. Yeah, and that's what that's what Sparks is in there to do, Tim. I mean, he's six foot three, a big body. Big boy. Yeah. He's your Mental Attitude Award winner for the Class A state champion Pioneer Panthers this year. That's always good to hear. Misses that free throw. A lot to be said about mental attitude. On and off the court. And Pioneer, every time they've been down there in the state championship for any sport whatsoever, they've won it. That's pretty cool. That's that's good. Sparks hits that second one. Three nothing lead Pioneer. Oh. Head to good and all he had. Oh, a nice take there by Easton Good on the left side, but he's gonna get fouled. So he'll go to the line. That foul was on Sparks. So a big guy like this, how's he, uh, how's he been doing as far as foul trouble, John? Oh, he yeah, averaged about three or four a game. Nobody's fouled out. I mean, he's, they, they rotate enough players, they don't have to worry about that too much. And good hits the second. So three to one, 638 left here. Gage Kripe getting up quickly to Kinley. Kinley eyes it, flies it. Nothing but net. Callahan Kinley from downtown. Boy, if you're Lewis, there's a strike. Good pass there. McClellan and the run inside. He takes it up and couldn't get it to go. And Sparks cleaning up the boards tonight so far. And it looks like Red's going to get called on that foul. Yeah. Oh, it's one thing Pioneer has trouble is rebounding the basketball with the size. But Lewis Cass and Pioneer match up so well together. I mean, really the height advantage, there's no they height do. advantage either way. You look at every, almost every one of these matchups and they are the same height. Kind of peculiar. Wire crossover, gets oh. to the lane, he gets it knocked away, battle for it. Good's gonna come up oh. with it somehow and he's gonna get fouled and I think it's on McGuire. Tried splitting the defenders, they couldn't close in on him and, and drew a defensive foul. Wire very pesky, he likes to get his hands in that passing lanes and bother you all night long. That one's gonna be picked off by Kinley. He read it perfectly. Oh, oh instead of going up for it, he just throws it out and McClellan to the hole, he gets Good fouled. Take. And that's gonna be two on Sparks as you just talked about mm. foul trouble. There you go. Kingston, huh? So his second. They're going to bring in Gavin James. McClellan to the line. Garrett McClellan, the junior. And that rolls around and won't fall in. So Gavin James comes into the lineup for Pioneer. You lose some height, but James is a physical player in there too. Big body. The all Logan Land lineman for Pioneer football. And a missed shot. Gage Kripe comes down with the rebound. Swings it over to Nussbaum. McGuire wide open on the corner and Got knocks it. it down. Triple for number 11, Damon yeah, McGuire. Good McGuire. find by Nussbaum. Nine Feet to set. one. Feet yeah. set. Great release. 
He's kind of struggled from downtown, actually, lately. Oh. Nice Euro step. <laughs> wow. I'm amazed at Euro steps. Yeah, that they don't get called travels. Yeah. Uh, Kenley thought he had something, but Chambers did a good job of getting his hand up there. Swings it back around. Gage Kripe for three. That's off the mark, but Kripe follows it up. Gets it back out. McGuire with it right to the hole. Up and in. Excellent take. Nice little scoop by Damon McGuire in 11 to 3 Panthers. Lobbed over the top. McClellan. Pull up jumper on the wing, or on the baseline is good for East and good. What's good for the good is good for Cass. Yeah, yeah, exactly. I mean, he's their he's so. their scorer. John, that's another one on Rudd. I will tell you what, the, Rudd is is fouls. one of the is one of the taller taller guys out there, and he's a good shooter. Mm -hmm. um, However, the games that I have watched, he has been prone to uh, get some fouls. Nussbaum thought he got fouled. McGuire will pick his pocket, goes up, and that won't uh, go, but he'll go to the line for a couple. I believe that foul was probably on East and Good. A lot of fouls here, I mean, honestly, in the first quarter already. Yeah. Tim, you saw Nussbaum take that to the hole on the left side, and that's not his game. His game is to spot up, get set, and launch those three-pointers. We're looking at three to four on the foul, so there's already been seven thus far. That's missed by McGuire. Gavin James picks it off for Pioneer. Kripe swings it all around. McGuire, noose bomb for three. Yes, sir. Got it. A timeout All right. for Lewis Cass, a 15-5 lead for Pioneer. We'll take a break and be back after this on RTC TV4. This broadcast brought to you in part by these local sponsors. Enjoy the game with an ice-cold Coke. Locally owned and operated since 1907, Coca-Cola Bottling Company of Kokomo proudly supports 28 high schools in North Central Indiana. Our starting lineup of brands are sure to keep you hydrated on the sidelines and at home. Coca-Cola Bottling Company of Kokomo. RTC TV4 thanks you for watching tonight's broadcast. Sponsorship and advertising opportunities are available and free production is included with every sponsorship package. If you are seeing this, then your customers are seeing it too. RTC TV4, see for yourself. Please support the local sponsors who make this production possible. At Co-Alliance, we understand the importance of community. After all, we've been farmer owned since the 1920s. And now that we're a part of your community, we want to become your total agronomy solutions provider. CoAlliance offers the latest in ag technology for your operation. From field scouting and fertilizers to premium seed and precision agriculture, we can help take your operation to the next level. Put the resources of your local cooperative to work. Contact CoAlliance today. Back here with the action already started here after that timeout. Good little spin move there by McClellan. Can't get that one to drop, and Kripe pulls down the rebound ahead to Kinley. Kinley spots it up, shoots it, can't make the shot. Great rebound by 42, Cass. Yes, Carson oh. Best in there. Chambers had an open look, didn't take it. He's going to dribble in there, gets it knocked away, stripped away. Jake Brown with it. And... Boy, Pioneer needs to look to the hoop when they have it. They're trying to pass a little too much, I believe. Yeah, they, they do a great job of getting after it on defense. I'll give them that. Both teams are, are, are doing that as well. Um, there's a net. That Jacob Hit Brown that with that nice little two-footer. 17-5 Panthers. And a five-second call on Cass. Well, it caught me off guard on that. I didn't think it yeah, seemed like it quite five seconds, but. 
I'll tell you what, number 11, McGuire, he has, he just has some basketball moves. He seems so fluid oh, yeah. and yeah. smooth. As far as basketball IQ, I would say he is, a. as he takes a shot, that's off the mark. It's going to be rebounded there by oh, Chambers. And man. McGuire reached in, trying to steal it, and they're going to get him with I don't the think foul. he touched him, John. Probably not. And that'll be his second. So two fouls on McGuire here in the first quarter. What a quick kid. So here comes another Being quick, quick kid. <laughs> we talked about that the last game we did is you, you replace quick with quick. So Adai Llewellyn in the lineup now for Pioneer. Good pulls up in the lane. That's off the mark. Rebounded by Kinley. And they're going to call a travel on Kinley. Blaine Rudd did a great job of just kind of disrupting. Couldn't get the dribble down, and he walked with it. Callahan Kinley out of the lineup. Mason Hayden in. Rudd thought about it. Gets it back to Chambers, good with it, top of the key, working on Jacob Brown. Good went right around Brown. Oh, Mason Hayden, he oh. was there for days, was he not? Yeah, he was waiting. Chambers had a good take to the hole. Uh, pulled up and kind of bellied up to a guy. And who was, like I said, waiting for it to happen. Krintz with the ball. Right, working around the left side. Back to Krintz. Krintz will shoot that three. Oh, boy, that looked good. Adai Llewellyn with it. Krintz might as well shoot another one. Nobody's going to go out on him. Adai Llewellyn with another rebound. So two offensive rebounds. Third time a charm. Nope. Jake Brown with it. He goes up, gets fouled. He'll go to the line. Boy, Pioneer pounding the offensive glass. You bet. One right after another. Yeah, two rebounds there by Adai Llewellyn. Then the last one was by Jacob Brown. Adai has got a couple springs in his legs. Yeah. Boy, that kid can jump. And can, as well as the young man at the line, Jacob Brown, he can get up as well. Brown will shoot two. That free throw is off the back iron. Nate, Nate Jones and Johnson, Tyler Johnson back in that lineup for Lewis Cass. Brown will just drop it over the front of the rim. And that'll be good. 18 to five with two minutes left. Wow. Boy, Llewellyn just couldn't slow down. Oh. That time they're saying Mason Hayden was moving, and mm. I don't think so much he was moving. He just they did, he got around him and didn't make full contact, I guess. Yeah, he, yeah the, the contact was there. It was just kind of a, a late sidestep, and Rudd avoided most of the contact, so call is what it is. Rudd misses it. Ahead to Mason Hayden. Kripe. Llewellyn, corner. Krentz. Trying to drive on good. He gets the baseline, swings it over to Jake Brown. Jake Brown fires up an air ball, though. Wasn't quite ready for that shot. And that, oh. I don't know how that wasn't a travel, oh. but it is, and they're going to count the basket. Blaine Rudd on the offensive glass. Travel prior to run. Yeah. What John was was starting to talk about, but Rudd ended up getting a second rebound and putting it up. Rudd makes the three-point play good. New spawn back in for a die, Llewellyn.
Krentz goes baseline, back out to Jake Brown. Brown, dribble drive, oh. and boy, Rudd does a good job of getting his That might hands be Rudd's in there. third. Oh, wow. I don't know. Let's see what they've got. They're going to call it on 20. All right, so it'll be on Jones. I don't know where Jones was in that. I don't mess. know either. <laughs> <laughs> and nevertheless, well, luckily, another foul. Rudd didn't pick up the third. This time, Brown's able to connect. He'll have another. Got it. It's good. 20-10, a 10-point lead for Pioneer with 119 left. In the first quarter, pass mm. inside. Nice power move there by Johnson. Ahead to Brown. Swings it across to Noosebaum. Prince dribbles in, kicks it back out to Kripe. Kripe gets in the lane, finds Brown. Brown up and under, beautiful, nice, nice move. move there. Nice move. Well, this is how Cass is gonna break this press, just throw it over the top of it. And that ball's dribbled right off of McClellan. I don't know if throwing it over the top is going to work every time tonight. So they get Chambers back in the lineup for McClellan. So 45 seconds left here before the end of the first quarter. Up top to Kripe. Kripe able to catch it. Noose bomb from downtown. Can't get that to go. Chambers pulls it down. Great board by Chambers, taking charge, brings it up court. Oh. Good block out by every Panther out there pretty much. I mean, they kept good off the board. Kripe with a little floater in the lane, won't go, and Chambers pulls it down. Oh. Brown picks it off. So 10 seconds left. Noose bomb, shot fake, into the lane, up, and gets it to go. So at the end of one, Pioneer up 24 to 12. We'll take a break, be back here on RTC TV4. This broadcast is brought to you in part by these local sponsors. Evans Agency in Rochester, offering farm liability, farm personal property, and farm outbuilding policies, all customized to fit your insurance needs. Let Judy help you protect all of your possessions. Online at EvansAgencyRochester.com. First Federal Savings Bank is your local mortgage lender with six locations throughout North Central Indiana. Trust the professionals at First Federal Savings Bank. Online at FirstFederalBanking.com. Please support the local businesses that help us bring you this production. I was thinking maybe. So back many, here at the cage, Pioneer High School, where Pioneer is up 24 to 12, Tim. Right now, Pioneer just working the glass really well. Yeah, I was just going to say that, John. They're doing their job. They're blocking out. Um, they're getting boards uh, two to one over Pioneer. Um, it's always good to see a good team uh, that will block out, or a team that will block out well, I should say. Uh, it looks like it's get, it gets rough underneath there, but... Like I said, Pioneer's just doing their job and they're getting Cass out of there. And Cass is kind of reacting, you know, shocked. <laughs> yeah. Tristan Miller in the lineup. That time, Rudd fires up the three, rebounded by James, way ahead to Kinley. Kinley sets his feet, puts it up, and misses the layup. Pioneer's doing a good job of looking up court and getting the ball up court. Oh, Miller nearly walked with that one. It's, good take by you. Yeah, Easton Good had Blaine Rudd on the wing open, but he went ahead and took it himself and gets fouled, so he'll go to the line. That's his. That's what he does. I mean, he, he fakes and goes. He takes it to the hole. He's a penetrator. Yeah, we talked about it before the game. I mean, he is a scorer. He's not a, whole, a great shooter, but he is a good scorer. Knows how to put the ball in the hole. As I say, he misses that free throw. Pioneer does a good job of getting the ball up very quickly. Noosebaum 
He was ready to shoot, and he knocks it home. He was calling for that right after he gave it up. He got his feet set and was ready to shoot. He knew he was putting it up. That's the most important thing is your footwork. You've got to be ready to take that shot. Boy, Gavin James back there playing safety picks off another one. That's not where you want to hold your dribble. Noosebaum to the hole, left hand puts it in. A little half court trap by Lewis Cass, but they didn't leave a man in the opposite corner and Pioneer found a hole. Leading to a score by Pioneer. Miller nearly gives it up. That time Good's able to find the garbage. The yep. <laughs> Opportunistic. Cripe. Noose bomb. Man. Couldn't find it, but there's it Llewellyn, Ezra Llewellyn out to Cripe. Cripe for three. Cash it in. All the way. Good all the way. This is what Pioneer does. They will tear you apart if you let them just shoot open three pointers. Tim, I bet they're averaging Ooh. nearly 25 a game attempts. Oh, wow. I mean, they put up a lot. No, they put up they put up several tonight. It, I don't think anything's going to change. <laughs> no, no. So we're already in the bonus. Cass uh, didn't necessarily have that ability. Their best shooter is shoot Rudd, that I many to shoot that many a night. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Isaac Chambers at the line, shooting the one in bonus. Hits the first. Fires up the second, nothing but net. Prince finds Brown wide open in the lane. A beautiful left-handed move by Jake Brown. Timeout, Coach Burkett and the Kings will take one as well on RTC TV4. At Co-Alliance Propane, we treat our customers like neighbors because, well, that's what we are. When you trust Co-Alliance Propane as your seriously local propane provider, you're trusting a team of professionals who live, work, and watch the game from right across the county, not the country. A team that's close by and seriously dedicated to your safety and providing the best service possible. Find out more about Co-Alliance Propane's seriously local service and how you can get 50 gallons of propane free at CoAlliancePropane.com. So back here on RTC TV4 where Pioneer is up 34 to 18 on the Kings. After that timeout, Lewis Cass looking to get things going here. Yeah, they better get things going quick. Good crossing over. It's tied up there. McClellan oh. with it. Boy, Pioneer's just getting after. They're everywhere. Shot fake there by Chambers. They're rotating like they're supposed to be on defense. Chambers a, will shoot the three. It's a well-coached team, John. Oh, noose bomb wide open. Oh, man, in it out. was in and out. Uh, that's a carry. Tristan Miller from downtown. And that's touched by Brown. It'll be King's ball. Yeah, Mason Hayden guarding good and good pulls up and Miller saves him because he gets the offensive rebound. And they're gonna call a, There's a foul shot. Point line. And they're gonna count, they're gonna say he was shooting in the act, so that'll be three shots at the line. So I'll put McClellan at the line. Cleveland looking for that second one. Got that one to go. 
Looking to finish out the trifecta as they have a little powwow there after that shot. Let's that one go, and he's able to connect on all three of them. Krentz in the corner, they're looking to trap. He does get it out to Kinley. Kinley finds Mason Hayden back to Krentz. Krentz from three, off the mark. Cass is gonna come up with it and looking down court. Good rebound there by McClellan. Easton Good into the lane, little pull up on it, it falls fell. in. He got the touch that time. Well, he was harassed by Jacob Brown. Mason Hayden for three, off the mark. This ball is tipped around and loose cast coming up with it. I just can't believe how many cast guys were under there. And the ball hit off the rim and yeah. they just about didn't get that rebound. See, I don't, Easton Good had a man wide, o wide open over there on that left side he could have passed to. Decided to take it himself, so he'll go to the line. He'll get to shoot two out of that. Tim, you remember Eric Walsh time. from Caston? Yes. Okay, that's what this what uh, Mr. Good reminds me of. A guy that wasn't a great shooter, but man, he got to the line 14, 15 times and made a lot, yeah, made a life of right. it. That's right. Went on to play college ball doing it. <laughs> yeah. Get that one to go. And David Wolver will be in the lineup his first time. Yeah, I remember that guy taking to the home and, and drawing so many fouls. Yeah. He went on to play at Bethel College. Oh, Brown throws it right into Wolver. Hmm. Ball. Cass nearly lost the ball, and now they're trapped in the corner. Yes. Oh, and he double dribbled. And we got a timeout oh, for okay. Burke. For Coach Burkett and Cass, we'll take one. Be back after this on RTC TV 4. Show your Panther pride this year by supporting the Pioneer Athletic Boosters. Your contribution to the Boosters helps fund athletic awards, letter jackets, uniforms, equipment, and more. We are the small but mighty Pioneer Panthers. Keep Panther pride alive for years to come. Support the Pioneer Athletic Boosters. Send your contribution to Pioneer High School Attention Athletic Boosters or call Christy Rance for more information. Go Panthers! So welcome back here on RTC TV4. Pioneer Panthers up 34-24, 10 point lead with 4-10 left here in the first, or the second quarter. Lewis Cass starting to get a little more aggressive on the defensive side, actually. They've had a couple steals. Yeah, and they fit some free throws here, so that helps. We're talking 10 fouls on Pioneer, 7 on, on Cass. Nice pass there to Chambers, and Jake Brown jumped right over Chambers. Oh, that must have been a good fake. <laughs> his first, is Jacob Browns. Chambers to the line and he'll get the double bonus shots here. Jumping Jacob Brown. <laughs> Last weekend, Jake Brown was on fire from downtown. Chambers, it's another free throw. He was downtown Jacob Brown last weekend. He had six triples. Oh, wow. I mean, most of them, all they were, I mean, just nothing but net. He just Ended well, up with 26 on the night. Well, he hasn't had that many looks tonight out there, but we still got another half, so. We'll see if he can continue. So Chambers hit both of those. Here comes Big Hoss. <laughs> Big Red, old Dustin Sparks comes in, along with Noosebaum. Cripe kicks it out to Brown. Brown eyes. Just as I say something. Yep. There's missed another look. It. Look at that. Gage Cripe. I thought Cripe had that one. Ahead to Easton Good and Good will heads finish. Up. Great heads up play by Cass. Finally uh, taking taking after Pioneer and getting the ball to court. 
McGuire getting harassed out there by Wooliver. Finds Sparks. Sparks kicks it back out to Noosebaum. Noosebaum dribble in. Little floater. Can't oh, get it to drop over out. the front. Rebound by Chambers. Ahead. Oh, Missed the layup. Yes. McClelland was open. Back and forth Noosebaum. a little bit. Noosebaum. He'll quiet it. Noosebaum connects for three to, to stop the run and gun here. Yeah. Getting a little frantic no pace. Easton Good right to the hole. They're going to call a foul mm -hmm. on Sparks, and I think that might be his third. Kid. It is, absolutely. Came in, yeah. threw another one. Well, 2.58 left, John. You got to take him out. Uh, yeah. Gavin James will come into the lineup after this free throw here. Going to need him late in the game if, if things keep going Cass's way. We, we were wrong, first of all. Eric Walsh went to Goshen College, not Bethel. And that was uh, by our brother Aaron. Oh, what a pass there. And they're going to call foul on Kripe. Hmm. Looked like he just got the ball loose. So Wolver will go to the line for two. And I think that's what Coach Cowley thinks, too. A lot of free throws, a lot of fouls called already. 12 to 7 with fouls. I'm going to run out of spots in my book and mark these fouls. And Wolliver can't connect. Tristan Miller will come in for, for Wolliver after he shoots here. Off the front end. Can't get neither of them to go. Well, Luz Cass hasn't shot free throws very well tonight, but Pioneer has neither, so. Cripe. Across the noose bomb. Noose bomb back to Kripe. Callahan Kinley to Gavin James, and he kicks it over to McGuire for three off the mark. Callahan Kinley definitely going to get called for that. Yeah. So we'll travel back down court and shoot some free throws to him. Yeah, you can't lean across somebody <laughs> when you're going up for the board. Might have been the first time Lewis Cass get, actually blocked out. Yeah, yeah. Yeah, he, he needed to get around and get on the inside of him, John. So, timeout here by Pioneer, 37 to 30, 224 left. We'll be back after this on RTC TV4. This broadcast is brought to you in part by these local sponsors. The lawyers and staff at Peterson Wagoner and Perkins LLP are here to provide the highest quality legal and professional service to their clients presently and for the future. See a full list of services online at peterson-wagoner.com. Woodlawn Hospital, offering state-of-the-art care for Fulton County for over 100 years. Woodlawn Hospital is the area's health care leader. Comprehensive care from head to toe, online at woodlawnhospital.com. Please support the local businesses that help us bring you this production. Back here at the Cage, Pioneer High School in Royal Center, Indiana. Panthers have a seven point advantage right now with 224 left. Right now, Tim, the Kings are just kind of squeaking back in a little bit. They're not doing a whole lot. But yeah. I mean, they're, they're able to pick up Points with the clock stopped here at the line, that's for sure. Well, Pioneer's just not connecting like they were earlier. Yeah. Um, they've shot several outside shots, and, and it's not happening right now. So hopefully uh, to end, end of the half or or next half, they get things going again. So Wolliver. And he has been 0 for 4 at the line already. So Cass looking to... Put a little bit of pressure on Pioneer. Boy, that ball's oh, passed to the referee. referee over here. Back in his day, he'd probably shoot it. <laughs> <laughs> he might try to shoot from there. <laughs> so good running the point now. 
back to Chambers. Three pointer on the way and that's gonna find the bottom and here we are, Cass only down by four now. Well, he was determined to get that shot off. Cass you can put see a little in his eyes and his foot, footwork. Yeah. As soon as he got it, there it went. Boy, Pioneer just better, oh, man. better figure out how to break this press. And Pioneer's throwing the ball away again. And there you go, East of Good finds it. He'll go right to the hole, left hand, puts it up and misses. McGuire comes out with it. Great take. He just McGuire like passing to James. Yeah, they're going to call us a few extra steps. I don't know. It was pretty close. Well, from this view, I couldn't see him. So a turnover for Pioneer. Pioneer's pulled the press off. And it's because Lewis Cass has just thrown over the top of it. And Cass looking to get right back in this bad boy before halftime. Cass taking their time trying to get it inside. McGuire saving it. And, and it's going to stay with Pioneer as Rudd touched it last. Well, Rudd dove, dove out of bounds and probably have a pretty good strawberry on him tomorrow. This bomb, top of the key, he'll take a dribble, shoot it. That's not his forte, he needs to be set. Cripe trying to do something with it. Chambers comes out of there, dribbles through traffic and it gets taken away by McGuire, he crosses over. Beautiful play by Damon McGuire. And Rudd didn't dare try to jump up and block that with, yeah. with the fouls that he has. McGuire just so quick and those hands are always in the passing lanes trying to knock the ball free. 30 seconds left here before halftime. Hand off to Rudd on the left wing. He's guarded by McGuire. McGuire just staying right with him. Chambers with Brown on him. Eleven seconds. Good with it. Crosses over. Mm. Deep three, and that's Got it. money from downtown. McGuire will let it fly and it hits the cable, so it won't count. <laughs> Gotta watch the cable. <laughs> Gotta game. watch the cable. Well, Tim, we're gonna keep it here at halftime. We've got an extended halftime tonight. Of course, right now you got your Lady Panther cheerleaders out there doing their thing. But here soon we will have the Riley Children's Dance Marathon. And a lot of the high schoolers, some of the elementary kids have been working on dances mm. to raise money for Riley Children's Hospital. So we're going to stay right here and pick up that action. Cass is able to cut that lead to only three. To provide your halftime entertainment for this evening. Last Sunday, we hosted a dance clinic with over 30 participants. And they Talking there is so Lainey Franklin, a teacher here at Pioneer, I will in charge tell you of that the during this dance performance, the lights will marathon. be on and off at times. Um, the song is Symphony, and it was choreographed by Emily Brooke. We are able to give over $600 to Riley Children's Hospital as a part of this fundraiser. So thanks to those who helped us donate the money. One reason we're kind of staying with it tonight, Tim, I don't know if you knew this or not, during the semi-state up at Logan Sport when Pioneer played against uh, Adam Central, we had a tailgate party sponsored by RTC TV4. And... Mm -hmm. The great people at RTC took all the donations and gave them to Pioneer for the dance competition here and for Riley Children's Hospital. All right. So that's kind of what we're hanging around here for. Good cause. Good cause. Yep. I was. I knew Carpenter and I actually built. Yeah. Uh, yes, you were. Riley. Yeah, I was there for uh, a couple uh, times. New I've been there more than a couple times, I guess. Yeah. As has my oldest. Yep. Great hospital here in the state of Indiana. A lot of kids benefiting from that place. 
Here we go.
So there you have it, the halftime performance for Riley Children's Hospital. Again, they raised over $600, it was said, for Riley Children's Hospital during their dance marathon and dance clinic. <clears throat> we'll go ahead and take a break, come back and pick up some stats here. Get ready for the second half on RTC TV4. This broadcast like brought to you in part by these local sponsors. I like Enjoy the game with an ice cold Coke. Locally like owned and operated since I'm 1907, Coca Cola Bottling Company of Kokomo proudly supports 28 and high schools in North Central Indiana. Indiana high school Our starting lineup of brands are sure to keep you hydrated on the sidelines and at home. Coca Cola Bottling Company more of than Kokomo. Just a game. Come. See me play. RTC TV4 thanks you for watching tonight's broadcast. Sponsorship and advertising opportunities are available and free production is included with every sponsorship package. If you are seeing this, then your customers are seeing it too. RTC TV4, see for yourself. Please support the local sponsors who make this production possible. At Oliver Ford, we reach beyond your dealership expectation, help you in making fun decisions on your new vehicle, or let it try our professional touch by our service and parts department. We are the only Indiana new and used car dealership that has won the President Award 17 times. With over 100 years of sales experience, we're here to hold your hand from start to finish with no pressure or gimmicks. Contact us today. At Co-Alliance, we understand the importance of community. After all, we've been farmer-owned since the 1920s. And now that we're a part of your community, we want to become your total agronomy solutions provider. Co-Alliance offers the latest in ag technology for your operation. From field scouting and fertilizers to premium seed and precision agriculture, we can help take your operation to the next level. Put the resources of your local cooperative to work. Contact Co-Alliance today. This broadcast is brought to you in part by these local sponsors. Evans Agency in Rochester, offering farm liability, farm personal property, and farm outbuilding policies, all customized to fit your insurance needs. Let Judy help you protect all of your possessions. Online at evansagencyrochester.com. First Federal Savings Bank is your local mortgage lender with six locations throughout North Central Indiana. Trust the professionals at First Federal Savings Bank, online at firstfederalbanking.com. Please support the local businesses that help us bring you this production. This broadcast is brought to you in part by these local sponsors. The lawyers and staff at Peterson Wagoner and Perkins LLP are here to provide the highest quality legal and professional service to their clients presently and for the future. See a full list of services online at peterson-wagoner.com. Woodlawn Hospital, offering state-of-the-art care for Fulton County for over 100 years. Woodlawn Hospital is the area's health care leader. Comprehensive care from head to toe, online at woodlawnhospital.com. Please support the local businesses that help us bring you this production. Want to know what I like best about playing basketball for my high school? I like it because it's a place where my friends get to see me play. I like it because I'm playing for someone besides myself. I'm playing for everybody in my school and every person in my community. Indiana High School Sports. They're more than just... So back here, halftime. 38, or 39 to 36, Pioneer up on the Cass Kings cross county rivalry tonight here at the Cage. Again, I'm John Hines with Tim Hines. Tim, want to go ahead and get us the uh, scoring for the game so far? Yeah, Good's looking uh, pretty good for Lewis Cass. <laughs> uh, he's got uh, 12, 
points from the uh, field and two at the line. Um, another guy who's looking good here in the second quarter has been McClellan. Yeah. Um, he's uh, he's hit his free throws in, in, uh, here in the second quarter and along with uh, a couple threes as well. Um, we've got Rudd with uh, four points and Johnson uh, made a, a quick bucket there when he was in. Um, let's talk about Pioneer a little bit. Uh, McGuire has uh, 11 points. Um, we've got a three here and there from a few other guys like Crichton Kinley and uh, uh, Brown with nine. So there you go. What did Newsbaum have there? He had a couple threes. What he had? Eight. A couple threes earlier. Eight. Yeah. Yeah, he got eight. So, yeah, Pioneer got a little roll that going there in the second quarter and started hitting some open three pointers, but. Lewis Cass, right now, um, kind of the momentum is shifting their way, honestly. It definitely has. They've tightened up their defense and uh, came a little more aware uh, on defense. And that's helped uh, swing the momentum. Pioneer looking tough early, uh, just tearing down boards uh, left and right. And then kind of hushed. They started missing their uh, outside shots. And like I said, that's when Lewis Cass decided to start playing basketball. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, and the East and good. I mean, boy, if he if you give him an inch, he's going to take it right to the hole. I mean, he's tried. I mean, Definitely. he has got to the hole and got foul, got to the line. He's a quick kid and has a, a good crossover and and gone. Uh, like you said, he's definitely going to take it to the hole if you give him an inch. Athletic kid. Yeah, very athletic. And Plays hard uh, all the time. Seems like. The one thing Lewis Cast did is kind of put a little token pressure on Pioneer and. Yeah. Rattled them a little bit. They didn't make a couple bad passes, and Lewis Cass is able to come back and convert yeah. either at the line or a three pointer. Yeah, like you said, Cass put on pressure, uh, especially uh, once they crossed the 10 second line, and, and we saw several traps uh, in both corners and and uh, Pioneer scurrying and making bad passes to, you know, yeah. as they're trying to get out of things. So, yep. so great job by Lewis Cass. Uh, We'll see what happens here uh, as the second half is getting ready to start. Yeah, they'll uh, they're going to look probably look to pressure a little bit more on Pioneer and try to get them to turn the ball over a few more times. And try to tie this and take the lead. Tim, I don't know if you know, but Pioneer girls basketball team 12 and four right now. We've wow. got them tomorrow as long as the weather cooperates with us. We'll be back here. Little right before 2.30 for the varsity start. They play the Argus Dragons tomorrow. So the Lady Panthers looking to go 13 and four on the season. So well, back. congratulations to the Lady Panthers. Been a long time since they've had that kind of record, that's for sure. Yeah. Nice pass into Kinley. Oh, and he oh, couldn't Kinley. get it to go. I don't know how oh. Easton Good was able to get away with that dribble, but he does, but he and then the he goes way. in with the left hand and converts. Beautiful play. He's still running. He's still running. Good just doesn't stop. No, he doesn't. Nope. You thought that was a travel, didn't you? I did. <laughs> yeah, me too. Oh, nice Hesitation job by McGuire. He uh -huh. couldn't get it to fall. And he'll shoot two. Yeah, he... And the foul's going on. Who did they call that one on, John? Yeah. Good, I think. Yep. Yeah. Yeah. So his second. One thing about Easton Good, Tim, uh, as far as a three-sport athlete, probably the, one of the best ones in Cass County right now. Look at football, baseball. I believe he's already uh, committed to play baseball. I've heard that. In uh, at the University of Miami of Ohio. That's right. And he'll find the bottom with that one. Miami of Ohio in the MAC Conference. Yep. Jalen Attaway over there as well from Logan Sport. Oh, Kinley, perfect. Now if he can just handle the ball, gets it to McGuire. McGuire should have just came down and put a layup in. Both teams being a little crazy with the ball and they call it travel on Miller. Miller got to start the second half. There's another kid that uh, watching him last year. Yeah. Takes it to the hole. 
a strong kid. Yes, he is. Kinley in the corner. Newsbaum, little shot fake, going right to the hole. Great take. Oh, yes, He sir. maneuvered in there, didn't he? Yeah. Boy, if he just sees that right hand, it'd be a lot easier of a shot. McClellan back to Chambers on the left wing. Nice back door to Easton Good. And Dustin Sparks just kind of leaned back not to get that foul called on him. Oh. The pass intended for Sparks, a little too much on it. Pioneers fans wanting a foul there. So a two-point game. The floor. Yeah. I'm trying to decide whether he can run the baseline or not. Yep, that's a good call. That's a good call. I, that's that's good work by the officials. So Pioneer will have it. A lot of times they'll tell you whether you can move or not. Yeah. <laughs> I'm surprised that he took off. McGuire, a little lob top. Oh. Oh. And Ooh. Tristan Miller and Sparks, able to come out Sparks of there. had two hands on it and had to let go because he realized wh what position he was in. It, they probably yep. would have called him over the back if he would have. Uh, pulled it down. Sparks is an aggressive player. Reminder, we have th Sparks with three fouls right now. And nice job by Newsbaum. He'll go up with the left and put it in. 44-40 Pioneer up. And then he hands it right back to Gage Kreit. Miller just kind of gave it right to him. Yeah, I don't think he really knew or was too aware that time. You, you know, know, we came up last time, uh, Lewis Cass in a simple pass, and they just kind of took it for granted, and Pioneer was there ready to jump on it. So you see Pioneer not giving up on this uh, aggressive nature. <laughs> Cripe able to hit that first. Rattles home the second. So a six point lead now for Pioneer. There's that deep pass. McClellan with it, guarded by Kripe. Gets it away to Chambers. And they're gonna call blocking foul on Sparks. And Sparks just can't win tonight. No, that'll be number four, John. They just can't get any momentum going with him in there. Uh, or rather, he can't get any momentum going. Well, you go with He's a, being out so much with these fouls. A better shooter, Jacob Brown, and a more athletic kid. But Sparks adds a lot of toughness to that lineup. That shot off a mark, and somehow Easton Good gets it. Back to Chambers. Chambers shot up, no good. Oh, that's going to be on McClellan. Anytime you swat like that, you're definitely going to get yeah. lone, lone whistle for a foul. Callahan Kinley able to grab the rebound. And here's Cass with that pressure. It's like a 1-2-2. One, 2-2-1 two, two. Two, two, now. That's a hard, ah, ah, you can't make that pass in the air. Good spin move. Good move. <laughs> oh, nice. nice. His, his has such quick feet, John. <laughs> yeah, that's going to be a foul. Oh. Yep. Could have been a walk, but they got him before he... They made it oh, to the ground. Yeah, they called it on the Cleveland. It was going to be a walk if they didn't call a foul. Got lucky there. And the Cleveland picks up a couple fouls right away. Though he wasn't in foul trouble prior to this, as he only has two. Notice Pioneer is all perimeter. I mean, everything they do, dribble, drop, yeah. dribble in kick it out and look for an open three. That's what they do. Yeah. Lewis Cass is, has a similar offense, um, whatever you want to call it, but pretty much five guys on the perimeter and pass, cut, penetrate, yep. pass. Um, I guess you see a lot of teams doing that now. However, I've seen Brown kind of hovering baseline back and forth, looking for somewhat of a post up. So. I always like to see that because with this 
broadcast team. We seldom see any posts. There you go. McGuire more. stole it away. Kripe has it now somehow to McKinley. Three on two. Or Callahan Kinley with the layup. Again, the pass over the top. And they're going to call a foul on Adai Llewellyn and really, I mean, he held his ground. Just East of Good spun right off of him and they call it on the floor. Yeah. We just didn't see what the ref saw. And that was not called. This one could get a little ugly here soon. And there's a lower shoulder. Oh, they're going to call a charge on that. Well, what do you think? When you lower your shoulder like that, even if it's for a second, and, and the contact was, you know, immediately followed, they're they're going to call a charge. Well, Pioneer's in some trouble. Four, lower, two guys with four fouls now. Kimley's your, picked up his four. Lower your head, lower your shoulder. I'd blow the whistle if I was a ref. I'd argue here. <laughs> <laughs> and why not call another one here? That one's going to be on Llewellyn, and he picks up another one. You're saying I wouldn't be a good ref, John? <laughs> Spin move by Good. Off mark. Pass to McGuire. Ooh. And he's going to get fouled here, and we got Chambers down over uh -oh. here. And the way he's holding that, that's an ACL, Tim. This does not look I good. I didn't see. Does not look good. Oh. Yeah. Looks like he has some tightness. And a little uh, bubble on the knee there. He's getting up there, John. Yeah, he's, he's a tough dude. Making his way off. So after all that, Damon McGuire will go to the line for two shots. This, this third quarter has been a little hectic. I mean, a lot of things have happened, a lot of fouls already, just like that first quarter. But uh, Pioneer's not putting the ball in the hole like they did the first quarter. Not yet. Wire hits the first. And the second. So an eight point lead now for Pioneer, 421. Loose ball. Pioneer has They're it. They're going to call Roll travel. Around. And so it'll be the King's ball. Yeah, I think he had possession of it when he when he turned to keep it away from Cass and they got him for a travel. Wire kicks it back out of bounds and resets the shot clock. <laughs> Something like that. Another Cass player on the floor. And they're going to call it on a Di Llewellyn. No need for the dust mop tonight. <laughs> yeah. Three fouls on a Ty Llewellyn trying to stay with Easton Good. And then takes it to the hole and got it knocked loose. Pioneers on the floor and now they end up with the ball. Somebody grab that thing. Oh, Harlem, Good, Good's got it. Harlem Globetrotters are coming to Logan Sport, Tim. And, uh, we have loose ball after loose ball after the kill on the floor. Yeah. We've got a foul on. Well, we're about to see on Cass. <laughs> I just, so Tristan Miller will come out of that fray with a foul. And it should be Pioneer's ball and uh, boy, it's got the referees confused now. They don't even know. Yes. So much has happened in a short time. Mm. So 
So it'll be McGuire to the line again. I think we uh, somebody buttered up the ball. <laughs> <laughs> Nobody keep a hold of it. Got some popcorn at halftime or something. McGuire is able to connect. He's perfect from the line thus far. Now you just jinxed Until him. I say something. Yeah, he kept it live. And we get the color in another circle after all. <laughs> <laughs> My near full court press knocks it out of bounds. Still going to be cast the ball. Damon but McGuire is really putting on some pressure. He averages about five steals a game. Tristan Miller playing point now. Gets it up court right to the hole. Little floater, can't get it to go, and Brown pulls down the rebound, and he's running the court. Mm, nice dish. Send it over. Nice yeah. dish. Oh, wow. McGuire just couldn't get that thing to come in, drop in. Those four-foot shots are the hardest one. David Wolliver out there now, working on Gage Kripe. It looks like uh, Good has a little bit more pressure right now on defense. He's got a uh, Llewellyn guarding him pretty tight. What happened there, no, Did they call that one? Another foul on McGuire. Uh, Boy, what time is it? So McGuire with three fouls. Going to be cast the ball out of bounds. That ball's tipped by Brown and it hits off up the pipes up there over the rim or so over the backboard. Cast ball out of bounds again. <laughs> Good hands by Brown. Good 10 footer off mark. Rebound Wolliver back up. Fading away. Missed it. Pioneer has the ball. Cripe up court. <laughs> Callie arguing that it's foul one way and not the other. I think you're going to see Pioneer try to take it to good. They need to get him out of there. Prince for three. He's lucky he didn't get a foul call that time. Rudd rips down the board. Jones, and he finds the bottom of the net. Cripe for three. Adam! He answered the right back. Stopped the little run, boy. It took Splash. a while. And another 10 point lead for Pioneer. Good try splitting the defense and does. Looks like Llewellyn's going to get another foul. Let me cripe. Was it cripe? No, it was Llewellyn. Llewellyn. Yeah, so that's four for him. Gee whiz. Prince out of the lineup, and Newsbaum will come in after he went to the floor a little bit earlier. So seven fouls apiece. Good hits the front end of the free throw. Good, able to connect again. Cass with that pressure now. McGuire. Noose bomb for three, off the mark. Oh, McKinley got up and got his hands gonna, on that one. They're gonna call jump ball, John. It'll be Cass's ball. McKinley right. taking over here. McClellan, I'm sorry. <laughs> yeah, 55 to 49 now. Nice pass to Brown. Good fake. And Good move. there's a foul. McClellan, that's what that that's who that foul will be on. 
Going to put Brown to the line. That was a good move by Brown. He has a good basketball head. You can tell he's played a lot of basketball. It's his first point after the here in the second half, I believe. Yep, that's right. Johnson in the lineup for Cass. So that's four fouls on McLeland. Brown Again. two for two at the line on that trip. Well, if I'm honestly, you know, if I'm Pioneer, I let good handle the ball. And I just sag on him because he, I mean, he's going to try to take it. And yeah, I'd give him, him the three-pointer all day long, I think. Let him shoot That's not his game. Good job by Llewellyn. That Down ball stripped away. All over. Cripe. Taking care. To Brown. Brown oh, thought about the three. Time. Little ipsy up doo and, and up and under puts it in. <laughs> Jacob Brown hanging. Now it's a ten-point lead again for Pioneer. Smooth. Back door to good. He th throws it up. Rebounded by Jones for Cass. Now Llewellyn's got the, uh, even though he's got four fouls, he is sticking to him. I'm surprised they didn't call that yeah, foul. Yeah, they didn't call that foul somehow. And, and that I'm not was sure a, what happened there. Was that a referee foot? No, it was, yet, it was, it was actually a okay. cast foot, but. McGuire kind of stepped on yeah. the, the guy's toe and couldn't out from under came his foot. So couldn't handle Lost it very well. Every five seconds seems like somebody's laying on the ground. <laughs> this is crazy. Well, Rudd Red hasn't gotten to the swing of things yet, and uh, I think he's I think he's trying to score, trying pretty hard. So he took it to the hole pretty hard there, and, and did draw the foul. Good block out by Pioneer. The ball just hit the ground. The Panthers ahead to Brown. Brown. Brown right to back get at Rudd. I like that. Yeah. Brown went with his left hand and there. That's going to be on run. Yep. So Jacob Brown will be in the line. Is that Rudd's? Is that Rudd's fifth? Oh, if I got it right, that's, it looks like that's his fourth. Fourth, yeah, fourth. Carson Vest came into the lineup for the Kings. Can't get the second one. Nope. So let's see what Tyson has. 15 seconds. This is Easton. I'm sorry. <laughs> yeah. no. You're used to watching Tyson. That's right, his brother. <laughs> Took him to the hole, lost the ball, grabbed it again. Stalled on the rim. I don't know what Brown, he's just, whatever. Got him a pass shot. Yeah, whatever <laughs> that was. But hey, we're at the end of the third. Pioneer up by 11, 60 to 49. We'll take a break and be back here on RTC TV4. <laughs> think of this as a high school weight room. It's more like a high school classroom. I'm learning how to manage my time here. I'm learning that it's important to have goals and that it takes persistence and commitment to reach them. And I'm learning that the best way to lead is by example. Indiana High School Sports. They're more than just a game. Come and see me play. <laughs> He's like me. Okay. Back here to start the third or the fourth quarter. Pioneer up 60 to 49. And Tim, that third quarter was one to uh, 
not to be desired by either team. A lot of turnovers, a lot of fouls. Just, I mean, it's eight to nine right now on the fouls. Yeah, Pioneer uh, coming out on top from the line though uh, in the third quarter. They hit, um, geez, two, four, six, eight, nine, nine free throws, missed one, so. So they made it count when they had to. Good still uh, prevailing here. Taking it to the yeah. hole. It's Maybe filled. not necessarily hitting every shot, but guys, you can't hardly count how many times he's taken to the bucket. Yeah. And either drawn a foul or or uh, hit it. Tell you what, the, the, we're going to see a good fourth quarter here for both teams. They're yeah. going to be fighting this crap. New bomb. Up and off the mark. Rebounded there by Johnson. So now you got to figure out who's going to guard good. Now they're in a 2-3 zone, and this makes a lot of sense to me <laughs> if you're Pioneer. Yeah. Yeah. Cass, not necessarily the team that's going to hook up for too many threes. Wow, that's uh, <laughs> a call. Brown somehow nice. able to keep his composure and put it in with the right hand. Great pass by McGuire. To yes, Brown. it was. Brown doing it both ends of the court now. Chambers stays with oh. it. Can't get it to go. Rebounded in there by Vest off the mark. Vest powers up again. That's gonna. They're gonna call it on the ground. No basket. He'll shoot. Well, I'm surprised they didn't. One and one there. On. Looked to me like maybe he was in the act of shooting, but uh, I must not have the right angle. <laughs> yeah, me neither then, because <laughs> that looked like it was a shooting foul. Short on the Wow, Kripe about threw it out of bounds himself on the rebound. McGuire behind his back, swings it across to Kinley. Kinley inside to Brown. Boy, he's got McGuire wide open over here on the corner, but Kinley will shoot the three. And it's going to stay with Pioneer as it was tipped out by Jones. Long rebound there. Jones was the only cast kid on the baseline and couldn't even quite get his hand on it. They quickly get it in to McGuire. He's guarded by Good. Right, spinning, gets it back out to McGuire. He eyes up a three-pointer. He's going to send it across to Kripe again. Kripe to the left hand. Up, no good. Rebounded by Brown. Brown turn around, off the rim and no good. And here comes Easton Good. Easton Good to the left side. Uses the rim as a defender there. McGuire, and he... Does a little razzle-dazzle to the hole, and he gets fouled, so he'll go shoot a couple. Good heads-up point guard in McGuire. He's found a lot of guys uh, when, when he draws this defense in. He seems to be able to know who to dish to. Oh, McGuire. See the floor well. Hard off the back. So he'll have another. McClellan back in, and... Rudd back in, both with four fouls. But who doesn't have four fouls? <laughs> I mean, you got to go deep into the bench. Here comes Sparks. He's got four. For Cripe. So, let's see if we can get all these guys fouled out real quick, I guess. I don't know. See who, see who does foul out first. McGuire can't get that one to go. Good, hurrying it up court. Looking to score. And Nussbaum with the foul. How many's he got? He has. Looks like it's his uh, second. Oh, well. Good I, think that, I think that's his, that's his first. I'm sorry. I had to look at the wrong guy. 
That's amazing right there. He's only got one foul. Good cans them both at the line. Cuts it with a nine to Kinley. Kinley guarded hard there by Vest. Mm. Kinley took it to the hole. Cass helped defense. Couldn't get there in front of him in time. As Chambers draws another foul. Yeah, that's his fourth, Tim. Yep. <laughs> Both teams have 10 fouls. Here with 5.42 left in the fourth quarter. So double bonus both the rest of the way for both teams. Kinley makes good on both. And we're back to an 11 point lead for Pioneer. That's where it's just been going back and forth, nine to 11. Chambers, good. Easton Good will eye the three, and wow, just a little bit off there. Yep. A lob over the top to Brown off the glass, and good. Great pass by Callahan Kinley. I'm telling you, Brown is, is so smooth. His footwork, catch, bang, bang. Oh, nice, nice pass. Nice look. Beautiful pass there to Carson Vest. Good, just thread the needle. Here comes McGuire. Out to Kinley. Kinley got that touched. Ball Sparks. bobbles around, sparks on the floor. And they're going to oh, give it wow. to Pioneer. And Don't call that. Cast crowd about to erupt over here. Lobbed over the top to Brown on the inbounds. Hand off to McGuire. He'll pull up from 15. He rattles it down. David McGuire made a living on that against Faith Christian last weekend. Coming right off the screen. And Little 15-footer. Pull up. Back to Rudd. Brown lets him go baseline. Mm, He'll shoot Rudd it. Rebounded by Callahan Kinley. Nobody was there except for Carson Vest, a foul. Mm. Or did they call it on Chambers? No, nope, it was nope, on Vest. Okay. Oh, that makes 11. <laughs> Callahan to the line. He's usually pretty good at there. Carson Vest with only one foul. There's a guy without four. <laughs> Kinley hit that first. And the second. And the second. Just working it around, and that's who you want to shoot is Rudd. Tipped out of there by Kinley. Rudd hasn't found the to ball. To McGuire. Yet. McGuire oh. trying to figure out what he's going to do with the ball Short there. Step had to kind of hang in the yep. air there. Spin move there by Good. Good. Wow. That was nice. Yeah. Talk about footwork. Yeah. Here comes Cass with a little pressure. Head to Brown. Brown back out. Newsbaum eyes up the triple. Off the mark. Newsbaum can't run it down. It's good. Go figure. He's going to the hole. Up and in. He's like a horse to the, in the races. <laughs> I say, he doesn't stop, does he? No. McGuire, look. Oh. Pass to Spark. Yeah, his legs. <laughs> nice pass by McGuire to find Sparks. So Sparks will shoot a couple here. And he knocks it down. Here comes Gage Kripe and Adai Llewellyn into the lineup for Kinley and Brown. Just to give him a quick rest, probably. There you go. Sparks hits the second. Vest in the corner. Tries to find Rudd, but a little too high. Uh, unforced turnover by Cass. 
comes the press. Gage Kripe trying to break it. And there's a foul. So Kripe will get to shoot and a couple. Looks like that's going to be on Rudd. Yep, five for Blaine Rudd. And send him to the bench. Nate Jones will come in, the senior, for the Kings. Those cats running out of time now. Yeah. Cripe rolls that first one in. And nothing but net on the second. Soft rim here, man. Them things rattle around. You go right in. <laughs> McKinley banks it three. I think he called it. <laughs> Timeout will take one as well here on RTC TV4. This broadcast I don't is think brought of this to you as a high in part by room. these local sponsors. It's more like a high school classroom. The Jim Kitchell Agency would like to, to wish the Pioneer Panthers best of luck I'm in tonight's that it's contest. To have goals, Count on Kitchell it for all of your farm, and commitment to reach home, them. auto, commercial, or life the best insurance way to lead needs. Available by, by phone or online Indiana at kitchellagency.com. Stay connected with the fastest internet speeds available. They're more with than RTC just a fiber game. communication, Come and see me voice, play. data, and video <laughs> connectivity for the 21st century. Local service, local support, local investment. Online at rtc1.com. Please support the local businesses that help us bring you this production. Back here, 317 left in the game. Pioneer up 74 to 62 right now. And this fourth, I, I said the third quarter was something not to be desired. Well, the fourth quarter is doing the same thing pretty much. It's just a circus to the foul line both ways. Speaking of circus. Yeah. <laughs> Appropriate music. Huh? Yeah. So Pioneer's got the ball out of bounds, 74-62, 317 fourth. Callahan Kinley gets it up that left side. Passes it quick to Sparks, and he loses it. Tristan Miller now with it. He crosses over. Gets it to Jones. He'll shoot a three. Oh. Jones. Miller right oh, up there. Nice job the by Miller to get up Powered high for that one. Kinley able to come out of there with it, sort of. Kreit, oh. stolen away. Pass off. Good. There goes that ball again. Oh, and the basket's oh. good by Chambers. Good strength there by Chambers. He stuck with it. I'll tell you what. We saw how many guys lose the ball. They had it. Went yeah. Up or try to make it a move. So Callahan Kinley picking up number five. And Jake Brown will come in for him. And for Kinley, Jacob Brown. Definitely not the same game that happened up in Logan Sport at the Berry Bowl, Tim. No. I mean, Pioneer went away with it in a hurry, just bombing three-pointers, knocking them down. But Cass has put up a pretty good fight trying to get back in this one. Chambers connects for another free throw. I think he's been practicing, John. Yeah. Cleveland able to knock it out, so Pioneer will... Have Matter the possession fact, I don't again. think Chambers has missed a free throw tonight. I don't think he has. McGuire, he'll race it up court. Behind his back to Noosebaum, and that's going to be a turnover. And Cowley says, hey, slow her down. We don't need it. Let's make it simple pass. Yeah, got a little too fancy for the bridges. So a nine-point lead for Pioneer with 240. Good. Oh, a good screen there. Mm. That ball is going to not fall oh. in. And we got a melee down in here. 
Nice take air by Nussbaum. Couldn't get the English off the glass. But he'll shoot two. I think Good was trying to back uh, back Sparks up and, and draw another foul. Uh, it didn't work out in the bed. They both ended up on the floor. Yeah, Sparks. And Sparks on top of Good. <laughs> Sparks is a big dude. Oh, yeah. Nussbaum can't get it to go. He's able to hit that one though. So another 10 point lead for Pioneer. Nice shot by Chambers. Here comes Pioneer McGuire. Past few trips up the court, Cass is taking their time on. They call it on good. On offense, and. I don't know what good's complaining about. I mean, they've been calling fouls all night long. He's just lucky. That's his third. Yeah. So McGuire will shoot two. Ah, Pioneer. Missing the first. Yep. Nothing but net on the second. We'll timeout, take, Pioneer. Yeah, we'll take a timeout. We'll keep it right here, Tim. So with a minute 55, cast down 76 to 67. What do they need to do to just get back and, you know, get this one even closer? Well, I think I think we need to see him go to the line. That seemed to be working earlier for him at taking it to the hole. And they just, they're in a tough spot here because we don't have a lot of good shooters. And even if we do get it on the wing, it seems like Pioneer's there in our face and, and there isn't much of a shot to be had. So. Well, your best shooter, your best three-point shooter has fouled out. Right. Rudd. Right. So. Not helping matters, but you know, Rudd no. just never, just couldn't. Get it going tonight as he usually does. Well, this is only uh, his second game back from that concussion protocol, I believe. That's right. What his that's right. Dad was telling me earlier. Yeah. So. so many more kids you hear getting concussions. Yeah. And every sport. I know. Well, the protocol now that I mean everything. Yeah, it seems like you're jumping. You have to jump through hoops to. Yep. Definitely. Be able to come back and play, but I guess better safe than sorry. Yeah. Well, whoever plays the organ here is really good. That's Grandma. <laughs> Chambers to Jones. Back to Chambers. McClellan. They're trying to find Jones on that baseline, and then they find Good, a little jumper in the lane off the mark. And oh, how is. Wow. Gage Kripe had position and Chambers went over the top of him and they call they call a jump ball. And stay with the keys. Sparks got lucky there. He kind of backed into yep. good after he shot and Chambers for three. Easily been a foul. He's gonna take it off the glass and can't find it. Kripe over to McGuire. Pioneer McGuire dribbles through that pressure. Out. Noose bomb. Not if you're wide open, you don't wow. run the clock out. No, Logan Nussbaum. Chambers back to Jones. Jones baseline. Hits a wall. And he traveled before. Ran into a <laughs> The red wall. Red wall. <laughs> the red brick wall. <laughs> oh, McGuire breaks that press. Over to Sparks. Off the glass and good. Nice pass by McGuire. And it, over the line and it'll be Pioneer's oh, ball. Boy. So Cass takes it out and <laughs> evidently had a toe on the line. There's Nolan Young into the lineup for 
Cass for Another unforced Miller. turnover for Cass. Noose bomb. He'll pull it out. Gives to McGuire. He's working on Young. It's Kripe. Kripe dribbles in across to Brown. Brown baseline. Finds Sparks open and puts it in. Nice pass by Brown to Sparks. Yeah, I nearly lost it, but Brown uh, tapped it to Sparks. Good heads up play. Well, those two buckets by Sparks might have put this one out. I think so. And there's Sparks with the big hands grabbing that rebound. Gage Kripe will get it across the timeline, and he'll just try to run some clock. He's got Brown open. Sparks Good luck. back out to Nussbaum. Boy, Nussbaum wanted to shoot. <laughs> Nussbaum hands off to Gage Kripe. Pass to Brown. Brown. Oh. oh. <laughs> <laughs> Well, they're not going to call that foul. Good to the hole for another. And maybe an elbow. Yeah, maybe. The Kripe will run out the clock finally. Finally! So the Panthers able to take this one. 83 to 69. Final score here at the cage. So we'll take a break here. Try to get Coach Cowley up here. He's got a lot of guys to talk to tonight. A couple radio stations and hopefully he can get up here and give us a post-game interview. Speak to him about this game tonight. So again, 83 to 69. We'll take a break, get some sponsors on here and be back. Get the stats and hopefully have Coach Cowley. This broadcast brought to you in part by these local sponsors. Enjoy the game with an ice-cold Coke. Locally owned and operated since 1907, Coca-Cola Bottling Company of Kokomo proudly supports 28 high schools in North Central Indiana. Our starting lineup of brands are sure to keep you hydrated on the sidelines and at home. Coca-Cola Bottling Company of Kokomo. RTC TV4 thanks you for watching tonight's broadcast. Sponsorship and advertising opportunities are available and free production is included with every sponsorship package. If you are seeing this, then your customers are seeing it too. RTC TV4, see for yourself. Please support the local sponsors who make this production possible. At Oliver Ford, we reach beyond your dealership expectation, help you in making fun decisions on your new vehicle, or let it try our professional touch by our service and parts department. We are the only Indiana new and used car dealership that has won the President Award 17 times. With over 100 years of sales experience, we're here to hold your hand from start to finish with no pressure or gimmicks. Contact us today. At Co-Alliance, we understand the importance of community. After all, we've been farmer-owned since the 1920s. And now that we're a part of your community, we want to become your total agronomy solutions provider. Co-Alliance offers the latest in ag technology for your operation. From field scouting and fertilizers to premium seed and precision agriculture, we can help take your operation to the next level. Put the resources of your local cooperative to work. Contact Co-Alliance today. This broadcast is brought to you in part by these local sponsors. Evans Agency in Rochester, offering farm liability, farm personal property, and farm outbuilding policies, all customized to fit your insurance needs. Let Judy help you protect all of your possessions. Online at evansagencyrochester.com. First Federal Savings Bank is your local mortgage lender with six locations throughout North Central Indiana. Trust the professionals at First Federal Savings Bank, online at firstfederalbanking.com. Please support the local businesses that help us bring you this production. This broadcast is brought to you in part by these local sponsors. 
The lawyers and staff at Peterson, Wagoner, and Perkins LLP are here to provide the highest quality legal and professional service to their clients presently and for the future. See a full list of services online at peterson-wagoner.com. Woodlawn Hospital, offering state-of-the-art care for Fulton County for over 100 years. Woodlawn Hospital is the area's health care leader. Comprehensive care from head to toe, online at woodlawnhospital.com. Please support the local businesses that help us bring you this production. Want to know what I like best about playing basketball for my high school? I like it because it's a place where my friends get to see me play. I like it because I'm playing for someone besides myself. I'm playing for everybody in my school and every person in my community. Indiana High School Sports. They're more than just a game. Come and see me play. First Federal Savings Bank has provided mortgage loans for over 50 years. We're now offering commercial loans to support our local businesses. We offer business loans for real estate, equipment, lines of credit, and investments. We also offer simply free business checking for all your banking needs. Contact Lindy Breeden, our business lending expert, to take the worry out of your business banking. And remember, we don't want to be the biggest bank, just the best bank. At Co-Alliance Propane, we treat our customers like neighbors because, well, that's what we are. When you trust Co-Alliance Propane as your seriously local propane provider, you're trusting a team of professionals who live, work, and watch the game from right across the county, not the country. A team that's close by and seriously dedicated to your safety and providing the best service possible. Find out more about Co-Alliance Propane's seriously local service and how you can get 50 gallons of propane free at CoAlliancePropane.com. There's been a lot of talk lately about net neutrality. At RTC, our customers receive the full and open internet, and nothing less. We are not the gatekeeper, toll operator, or curator. A free and open internet has been the single biggest driver of innovation over the last generation, and we want that engine of innovation to live on in our customers. If you ever have a question about your internet service, give RTC a call. We are here for you. Back here where the final score, 83 to 69. Panthers come out on top over the Cass Kings. And Tim, while we're waiting on Coach Cowley to make his way up here, why don't you go ahead and give us the uh, rundown on the scoring tonight. Well, John, uh, we'll start with uh, Lewis Cass. Uh, we got a good uh, leading score with 32. Gee whiz. Uh, McClellan 16. Chambers eight, Young three, Jones three, Rudd five, Johnson two, Smith two, or Vest two. Um, something to note as far as Lewis Cass went was uh, was not only good taking it to the hole uh, so many times and, and really hitting most of his free throws was uh, Chambers perfect from the line. Um, the guy, they, they all struggled, yet, you know, they, they played hard. Um, it's just a, it's just a young team, and, you know, you see a lot of guys out there that haven't played, um, or haven't got any varsity ex experience in the past. Yeah. Um, yep. So, you know, that's something they've got to work on and, and will work on, and uh, I know they've got some good classes coming up. Um, as far as Pioneer goes, the rundown is uh, Moose Bomb 16. McGuire 17, Kinley 9, 10 from Cripe, 10 from Sparks, and Brown leads with 18. Pretty even. I yeah, mean, yeah, that's you know, Sparks had 10 points, and uh, he's you know, I think he might be averaging maybe two or three a game. So this is a big night for him, and he did a good job all the way from the 
start of the game. I mean, other than getting in foul trouble there, didn't foul out. So I mean, that's good. No, he didn't. You know, I mean, he was saddled with four fouls there in the third, so, and was able to make it back all the way through the game with not fouling out. So something to be said about uh, big guys like that in their when they when they're playing against teams that are that don't have a big guy. You know, you get used to that heavy body and heavy body from from each team. You yeah. Know? Uh, versing each other that then you get used to that like I said and you get to banging around with some of the smaller guys and and reaching over there you know back and shoulders and, and you pick up several fouls which he did early in the game um, but he did a good job when he came back in of uh, of not doing that yeah and like like you said did a good job of scoring tonight yeah so pioneer able to inch closer to that 500 record they're now four and six cast drops to four and seven so pioneer plays tomorrow actually at uh, jv starts at one o'clock at carroll they move that up because of the attempt of snow there so we got coach cali coming up here give him your headset yeah there you go so coach got the win tonight yes sir boy it was it was a wild one out there a lot of fouls but you know you got to give credit to Cass putting a little pressure on you that we haven't really you haven't seen that all oh, that of, much yeah all credit to Cass uh, I thought we kind of had him down there in the second quarter we built up I don't know if it was 15 or 16 uh, and, and they battled all the way back uh, whether th th they were getting stops on us we you know we might have been shooting a little early in the possession, just wasn't going down for us because it was there for the first quarter and a half. Uh, and, and, and as we press on misses, uh, they were smart enough to pick up on releasing some guys deep and throwing it long on us, and they're getting some easy baskets. The fouls start adding up. Yep. Our offensive rhythm went away. So we kind of limped into the half there, still up three. We liked our offense, still having 39 at half. We're yep. kind of on that 20-point quarter uh, pace but they had way too many in that second quarter. So it was good to see us start out the third quarter right away and extend our three-point lead. And it kind of kept growing to about 10 there gradually. And we had a 10-point lead, felt a little comfortable with it. Uh, all kinds of fouls called, and I thought the refs did a great job, honestly. Um, these two teams weren't gonna back down from each no, other. They... And uh, um, so there was, you know, I don't know if there was 100 free throw shots tonight <laughs> or not, but it seemed like it was close to it, long game. Yeah. Uh, but you know, that's the advantage of having a deep bench. So our bench played a huge role in that first half with our six seniors uh, get, all getting in there. Uh, and, and then we kind of went to that zone there in the fourth quarter. And I thought I was able to slow down good uh, as much as you possibly darn can. Yeah. That kid, uh, it, you know, I, I told Coach Farr that if, uh, if we made a, uh, a top five out of our whole schedule, he, he's on that team, you know. And, um, we play a lot of good players, but he's definitely one of the best that we play. Uh, so he came in. I don't know how many points he had. Did he have 40? I uh, think he had 32 is what we had. Unbelievable. 32. Uh, just just thought they had a couple other kids step up and play well. I think Coach Burgess got them on the right track. Uh, but So we're just happy to get away with this one with the win. One guy that uh, stood out to us tonight, obviously Jake Brown led you guys in scoring tonight. I think he had 18, but you had balance. I mean, you had 17, 18. Uh, Kinley had nine. Uh, McGuire had a big game. I mean, hitting those free throws, and he was as he always is. He yep. just harasses you all he's over shifty, the court. Isn't he? Man, he he makes <laughs> some plays out there, and he he's kind of those, you know, I mean, he's got a good head on his shoulders. He's got good basketball IQ, and he likes to likes to get a little flashy now and then, yeah. you know. But that that's his game. Yeah. But uh, Dustin Sparks, man, ten points coming in here gets 10 points grabbed rebounds i mean he was saddled with foul trouble early yeah and i thought he started the game phenomenally and uh mm -hmm. and but then got in early foul trouble and had to kind of sit so we really missed his presence i thought later so yeah later in that half with him sitting uh mcguire sitting and callahan kinley sitting with two fouls or three fouls over there really i think uh played to their advantage there late in the half so coach i'll let you get out of here and uh Good win tonight, and you guys play tomorrow at what, 1 o'clock JV start against yes. Carroll? At yes. Carroll. Yes. So, Supposed to be a 2.30 varsity start, yeah. but yep. Yeah, so uh, 
What's that look like? Have you really looked at them much? Or Well, Carroll's a team that's going to keep it low scoring. They are going to work uh, as possibly as hard as they can. They had a road game tonight at Clinton Prairie. Okay. So I'll try to kind of see what that score is. I'll try to get that game. Uh, we're not even going to come in and watch it before we leave. We, we kind of said, hey, boys, this is one you just toughen up. You go on the yep. road and you, you you feel them out and you get the W, you know. So we know it's going to be a dog fight going over there. The last couple years, uh, that's the way it's been. Mm -hmm. They've got a new coach. I think it's going to be some uh, packed in man-to-man, -man, probably some motion offense. Uh, I, we'll see how our legs recover after tonight. You know, yeah. McGuire and Kripe went a lot of minutes there in the second yes, half. Uh, but, boy, they've got some motors. Uh, so we'll see if we can get our press going without fouling tomorrow um, and just see if we can't get some shots dropping over there. It's not the best shooter's gym over there, no. Carol, if you guys remember, <laughs> right? I know you guys used to shoot it up back in the day. Yeah, uh, yeah Carol. Not as friendly as these rims. <laughs> Pretty good teams back in those days yes, at definitely. Carroll, that's for sure. Definitely. So, Coach Callie, we'll let you get out of here and uh, enjoy the rest of the night. And Thank good you luck much. tomorrow. Thanks for coming up and talking to us. Thanks, guys. Coach Callie with the win tonight over the Cass Kings. We're going to go ahead and call it a night here at Pioneer High School at the Cage here in Royal Center, Indiana. So, for Tim Hines, thanks for uh, giving us a call tonight. And Helping me out with the scorebook. I well, mean, I, I kind of had to. Lots of pressure. From, <laughs> yeah, from I big, always from started, big started bothering you a couple months ago when I saw this on the on the schedule. And of course, Laura Morical up there on the camera tonight. Good job again. Mm -hmm. And I'm John Hines back at the studio running tech tonight was Scott Sager. So again, right. just to let you know, we will be back on air tomorrow. About 2.30 start for the girls game here against the Argus Dragons, unless otherwise, and that'll be posted on RTC to let you know. Uh, keep up on Facebook in case it might get canceled if the weather does does not cooperate. So, mm -hmm. Well, I'd like to give a quick shout out to the people that, uh, that I told to listen in. No, oh, yeah. Uh, family and friends from Royal Center to San Diego. So. <laughs> Uh, well, one, thanks, John. Hey, I had fun. Yeah, one thing, uh, I brought Tim up here because he his boys go to Lewis Cass also. And, you know, one's a sixth grader, one's an eighth grader. When he was talking about some uh, talent coming up in the system, uh, both of those teams, the eighth and sixth grade team, are both very, very good uh, basketball teams over there. Yeah, they'll, they'll be, well, all sports, that, yeah. you know, coming yeah. up. It looks like we're going to have good, uh, a good crop, good baseball team, good Football and basketball, so it'll be interesting. I'm excited. So we'll go ahead and call it a night here on RTC TV4. And thank you for watching. Have a great night, everybody, and be safe.